Although this is a simple hack and will advance over time, this will provide you with a fairly decent way of streaming your console to your device. Hey guys, what's up? It's Siri Hacks, and today I have the much awaited video on how you guys can set up your own uh, streamer from your console of choice to your device of choice. So the concept is simple. You're going to need a console of choice. You're going to need a computer of choice. It can be desktop, PC, Mac, it doesn't really matter, or laptop. And you're going to need the device of choice. Um, for this, you, you're going to need a tablet or a mobile phone or iPod. Uh, that's either iOS or Android. And basically how this works is that the PS3 uses the computer as its screen. And from there, we have a VNC stream everything to your uh, device. To get this to work, you're going to have most of the stuff already. The only two things you guys are really going to need to purchase is a USB or AV to USB tuner. This is going to be similar to a capture card. And uh, you're going to need an app called Splash Top on your uh, respective device. Uh, in total, um, my specific e easy cap that I purchased, you guys can really purchase any real tuner. The one I purchased was under 10 bucks. It was, I believe, 6 bucks on eBay. Um, mine was made by So Magic. Uh, so Magic uh, is has a reputation for not the best uh, easy caps, but the one I got was uh, did the job for me. So you guys don't necessarily have to get the costliest one. The only drawback I have to this, though, is that uh, this only works on Windows. Fortunately for me, I am a Windows app developer, so I already had a copy of Windows on my MacBook Pro, so I didn't really have to worry about that too much. The second thing you guys are going to need to purchase is an app called Splash Top. This is 99 cents on the App Store, and uh, it's a pretty decent app. It's probably the best VNC app on the market today, and it's fairly cheap as well. Uh, keep this in mind. The next things I'm probably I'm saying you probably are already gonna have. So just make sure you guys have this. Uh, first of all, you're gonna need the AV cable that comes with your console of choice. Um, so uh, I know that most of you guys are gonna be using HDMI now with your high def TVs to stream at 1080p. But um, for the specific hack, you're gonna need an AV cable. Uh, this usually comes standard with your console. The second thing you're going to need is a Bluetooth controller. Uh, this is because Bluetooth has an optimal range of 50, uh, uh, rather 10 meters, and not 50. And this is going to allow you to play anywhere inside your house, uh, as long as it's 10 meters away from uh, anywhere within 10 meters of your PS3 or other console. And you're also going to need the device of choice for obvious reasons the console of choice for obvious reasons, and the computer of choice for obvious reasons. One quick thing that I want to point to is the uh, sensor bar of the Wii. Because of this, um, most games on the Wii are not going to be reasonable to be playing away f and mobile away from the Wii. And uh, one game that I can think of that you guys can play away from the Wii is Super Mario Smash Bros. Brawl. And uh, so basically, uh, games such as that uh, where you don't need the sensor bar, you can play uh, away from the Wii in mobile, but for games where uh, you really need to be actively using that sensor bar, it's probably best if you are by the Wii, as the sensor bar is not wireless. So you guys, on the software side, you guys are going to want to get these following pieces of software. Uh, the first is going to be what you guys are going to be using to, de uh, to display your... Um, PS3 on your PC. Uh, Yuli um, Video Studio comes a standard with um, easy caps, but uh, this will not work. I haven't tested out other video cards as uh, the easy cap is the only video card I have. But uh, the problem with some of these uh, capture software is that they will not display when you are using a VNC. And for this reason, you guys are going to want to go out and get this free. Uh, 
a, p a small yet powerful piece of free software called AMCAP, and uh, this will cost you if you buy the premium full version, but you guys can get the demo for free, and that's what I'm using. Uh, so once you guys have that, um, you guys should go to splashtop.com and I'll include all these links in the description. You guys are going to want to get the streamer that is respective to your computer. It's a pretty small download. It installs pretty quickly and you guys should be in business as soon as you are done. And for to check out what uh, various devices that this supports, I've also uh, included a link to the uh, app download page. Uh, this pretty much has support for all devices across uh, across the board from iPhones to Androids to Window uh, desktops to Macs to touchpads to Kindle Fires to Nooks to the Blackberry tablets. And so this is uh, a very diverse um, and this is also one of the reasons why Splashtop is one of the best um, VNC softwares out there today. And once you guys have that, let's get on to getting this to actually run and uh, work. So you guys, what you guys are going to want to have plugged in now is your uh, recording capture card as well as the um, having the cables connected together. And once you have that, that's pretty straightforward. I don't think you guys should have too much trouble with that. Uh, make sure that your PS3 or device you are using is turned on and is uh, put into power. And simply launch your app. Uh, Splashtop should have installed and already started working on your PC in the background. So uh, pretty much all you guys really want will have to do from this point is simply tap and launch and what this will do is launch the software on your PC and provide you the VNC live on your computer so once you guys have that uh, you guys can change this to landscape mode to have a better view um, you guys are going to want to go in and let me just uh, go in and launch AMCAP and this is what we're using to display our PS3 so as you guys can see it's launched up let me just put this right here or uh, let me put it so that we can zoom in later on and uh, a simple tap of the button right here should turn the PS3 on as you guys can see let me put the brightness higher here. The PlayStation has indeed on, and you guys can see that mirrored on your device. And what you guys really are going to have to do is just zoom in, and you guys should have a good view of the PS3 on your device. And the stream, the streaming quality is pretty good. There's nearly no lag, as you guys can see here. And uh, because of this low lag rate and uh, close to no lag, you guys can play games such as Battlefield 3 and other FPS shooters uh, without suffering a big disadvantage to your opponents. And uh, what I've noticed in my, and I put this up in my previous videos, um, the connection speed, the lag, all of this is going to depend on uh, your processor and your uh, device uh, specs. So let's just, let me just show you how this works by clicking X to launch this. As you guys can see, there's little to no lag, but it has launched. And we are fully functioning now. As you guys can see there, the game hasn't started yet. Synchronizing my trophies. and we should start in a bit as you guys can see that's the loading screen
and uh, Battlefield 3 has loaded on your iPhone and you can play this just as you would and the great thing about Bluetooth is that you can take it anywhere so if I were to take my iPhone and go downstairs I could do so and play the game as if I was actually playing as you guys can see the streaming is pretty good little to no lag and this is something that's very reasonable the quality is good this is 480p but it looks fairly decent as you guys can see you can read everything and the quality is amazing for what we are doing and for the price we're doing it at uh, thank you guys for watching subscribe rate and comment and yeah hope you guys have a great time playing